That's a big victory and a victory for us. But it came at a cost. Anyways, we'll get into that in a minute. Commander. I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. It's a bit of clarification. When she was referring to uh, First Contact, she was talking about the tutorial mission where, uh, which we we didn't get the, uh, we didn't do the tutorial mission, we just started a new mission. In that first one, normally what you see is there's a uh, an alien that can, that, that sectoid commander is in the first uh, tutorial. Uh, like, kind of scripted mission. Just so you know. Alright. Next objective is to trace the hyperwave signal. On the plus side, we got some promotions. Zeke Saber gets extra conditioning. Confers bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Heavier armor inc increases the bonus. So he's a major. Also, Adept is, our, is a major. And he gets will to survive. Which is all normal damage taken by two if in cover and not flanked. That's good. And uh, we got our our mech soldier up to um, uh, up another rank. And she got her nickname. So we got Vital Point Targeting. Confers two bonus damage against targets that have an autopsy. That's a pretty cool ability. Or Damage Control. When the mech takes damage, all further damage will be reduced by two for the next two turns. Makes more of a tank. They're both really good abilities. But I haven't done a whole lot of autopsies yet, but that'll get better as time goes on, I think. But I think I'll go for a. Uh, I'll go for damage control for now. Well, not we lost our first soldier. We got the defender's medal. We need a sector commander autopsy, uh, uh, research high wave communication, and a drone autopsy. Recovered. Uh, the high wave beacon. Some cor a bunch of uh, alien corpses. 83 Illyrium, 91 Alien Alloys, 25 Weapon Fragments, 50 Meld, some Alien Entertainment, Alien Food, Alien Six Tanks, Alien Surgery, uh, UFO Power Sources, and a couple Damage Alien Surgeries. And we get Worldwide Panic Decreased by 2. Remember, we will be watching. That's looking much better. Anyway, so <laughs> now we have an, <clears throat> a new thing in the barracks, the Memorial. Captain Ashley Spectre Williams, 16 kills over 10 missions, <laughs> died in Operation Banish Thunder, um, to a floater. I'm sorry, Ashley. Alright, um, let's go to medals real quick, check out our new uh, Defender medal. We can choose either... Uh, never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed, or med case and restorative miss heal two two HP more when used on this sol on the soldier. This isn't like a isn't not an upgrade to your med kits. It's like <clears throat> for the soldier who has the metal, it improves it. I think this is a better ability because never panicking, like <clears throat> being immune to panic from a uh, allied uh, f from things happening to allies uh, helps. But I think psionic powers can still cause them to panic. Hmm. I don't know, actually. It feels good. We haven't had any panic yet from someone getting... from Alex getting wounded or killed. Our soldiers have been pretty brave. The only time we had a panic was when Adept um, was uh, affected by the sect sectoid commander who made him panic. Uh, I'll decide that later. I think we should award some medals, though. Let's award an urban combat badge to... Let's see, who... I feel like everybody performed really well. I should, and I kind of want to just sort of award medals across the board to everyone who survived that. Um, Joe Jack did a good job. Yeah, we'll give you a medal. Of 
forgot that he <coughs> forgot his hair color. Uh, International Service Cross. We will give to. Look at that to uh, to Zathos. Good job. We'll go ahead and get assign the Defender Medal. Let's give it the. Uh, I didn't go for this one actually. Now that I think about it. I'm going to award it to our mech trooper. And then finally, Lone Wolf Metal will award that to Zeke Saber. Is that everybody that went on the mission? Right, let me think here. Let's see. So we had Adept. Oh, yeah, Adept is on the mission. He already has a medal, but I suppose we could uh, give another one for its performance there. We've been very decorated. All right. We're gonna go to hire soldier. We're gonna hire one new soldier to replace the one that we lost. We're gonna go to the situation room to the gray market because we have something to sell. Uh, alien surgery that's damaged, so we can sell it for for money. But alien surgery, is, there's no research benefit to any of this stuff. Alien surgery, the stasis tanks, uh, alien food, the same. Actually, let's reason the stuff here. It says alien surgery. All the rudimentary in appearance, this device must play some role in the, on the aliens in the aliens' unconscious, unconscionable experiments on the human captives housed here. Stasis tank. These tanks appear to ha hold the aliens' captives in a comatose state until they are ready for further experimentation. Alien food. And this slurry of varying genetic material has a considerable nutrient content and could be used to provide sustenance to aliens. Unfortunately, this mixture also contains several key, ma key markers that indicate the presence of human DNA. Alien entertainment. We can only assume this bizarre device is some form of entertainment for the aliens. It appears to induce a euphoric state in the user. So with all that, we're getting 337 credits. Not bad at all. I should be getting those satellites soon. Uh, four and nine days each, or respectively. I have difficulty understanding how such an advanced species could show Work so little empathy for the lives of other sentient beings. It goes against everything we have ever imagined. The technology is there, but with it comes a callousness we would never have expected. What could have brought them to this? Our cyber suits have faced the trials of battle and were proven effective. As we continue to deploy our mech troopers, they will grow more accustomed to the suits. And if fortune is with us, help put an end to this conflict. All right, let's see. Can we upgrade to mech two? Actually, Sentinel, yeah, it looks like we can. These direct upgrades to the uh, suits themselves, and you can uh, choose things like uh, Restorative Mist. Actually, I think I'm going to already. Grenade Launcher and Restorative Mist are options. Can we do that now? Uh, maybe I'll think about it. Let's go build facilities. We have a lot of money now. What do for Satellite Nexus? We need more power. And two UFO flight computers. Right, I forgot about that part. Build an Illyrium generator. I think we build that right here in five days when this is finished ex excavation. So we're gonna hold off on that a bit longer. Uh, for items, we build more laser weapons. Get some of this now. Carapace armor. I'm gonna buy another one of these. Just so we have more coming along. Uh. Uh, I've got, got all this money now, but I don't know what to do with it. Ooh, uh, how about the uh, officer training school? Uh, Raptor recovery. Lead by example. Wet work, iron will. This one's not very expensive. Let's get this one. Uh, 
And uh There's no way the aliens could have anticipated this outcome. We've crippled the entire support network. Of course this isn't the end. We have no choice now but to take it further. We have to find their remaining ships and finish what they started. What if I should augment some more people? I wonder if you guys would mind getting augmented. So some of your soldiers here. I don't know yet. I would might have another mech though. We're upgrading the current one. I don't know yet. Regardless, um, I don't think I think I'm just gonna call it good with the uh, just that base mission for now. I don't know how many episodes it's gonna be, but uh, I mean we only lost one person, so that's good. Could have been a lot worse. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm sorry if I kind of rambled or if this feel, feels kind of a. Uh, I mean, we made good progress. We took down the alien base, but I don't know. I feel like my commentary wasn't uh, on par. I think it was kind of a it's kind of in shock at how easily we lost uh, Ashley, who I was hoping was going to go go places. Oh well, can't plan for everything. Uh, next time, I guess we'll continue s searching for the alien threat. Uh, put some satellites in the sky. Finish re researching Illyrium. Uh, hopefully get that new fighter craft uh, research so we can do a better job of shooting down alien ships. We'll see. See y'all next time.